Hi, this is John Broadhead with Roland, and we're here with the new M5000 Live Mixing Console. Uh, it's built on the ORCA platform that stands for Open, High Resolution, Configurable Architecture. Those three phrases go into this platform. We're going to look specifically now at the, the more the open part of that phrase and what that really refers to. Let's just look at the back panel and we can see that we've got uh, redundant power here. There's an optional uh, power unit to handle that part for mission critical applications. Lots of control here with foot switches, GPIO, RS-232 and MIDI. If we w work across here we've got 16 by 16 analog uh, input output as well as some AES EBU, uh, two in, two out there, as well as a dock cable for our iPad. So when we have an iPad running here, we're able to connect a particular cable directly, and then we can charge the iPad as well as record to it or play back from it. Very handy to have or roam around just for mixing. We've got USB port. That is a 16 by 16 audio interface. Again, great for recording to or playing stems back if you've got a, a, a playback tracks to, to handle from any of your popular DAWs. Uh, the ability also to connect it to a network for wireless control, connect a router and uh, run around with your iPad uh, in, in that particular way. If we keep working across here, this is where we have our React ports. And these are the Roland Ethernet audio communication ports. Each one of these is 40 by 40 channels at 96 kilohertz. This whole thing, the high resolution part, runs at 96K. Um, you're able then to patch to any number of our uh, digital snakes, right from the S4000 through what you see here today is our introductory system with two 2416s. Uh, that, that system that you see here today is 64 uh, analog inputs uh, ready to go. But the uh, 2416, 1608, 0816, and then the 0808, that's five different uh, digital snake products that are ready to go and working, all right at 96. Each one of those was designed from day, day one to run at 96K. So uh, if you're an existing client that has uh, Roland Snakes already, you plug them in, they'll already clock to 96K with this console. Great ability there to be also to have a split port to go to recording, or as you can see here, we've got one of our M48 personal mixers connect. And there's already power uh, PoE is part of this port, so it supplies power to this unit. And that application is for when you have a monitor uh, console where you can see every one of your musicians out there. Whoever has one of these, you can just touch a button on the screen and this will instantly clone what they have and what they see. So it allows you to monitor right at the console what all your personal mixers have, as well as as a monitor console, be able to use it for traditional in-ear mixing where it's being controlled from a console. So that's your React port, word clock. Last but not least is your expansion slots here. This is a big part of the open story because we have not only additional React cards. If you put in a React card here, a couple more, you can go up to 300 inputs at 96K. We also have a Dante card, a MADI card, and a Waves card, sound grid. So you're now able then to connect really to any network that you want to, um, to be able to patch in, whether it's a broadcast feed or sit as another console. So in its entirety, with all the I.O. options, personal mixing and full recording, you've got great power here in a tightly integrated uh, audio system. So for more information, look at fullcompass.com or be sure to talk to your Full Compass sales representative.